Hello guys, my name is Evan and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can start live streaming on YouTube starting today. Now, first of all, the software that I am using is called Streamlabs OBS. If you guys would like to download Streamlabs OBS, the link is in the very top of the description. It's a free download. It'll take about five minutes to get uh, downloaded and open. And once you have that downloaded and opened, you should be ready to follow the rest of the tutorial. Now, first of all, when you guys get in, your screen will look nothing like mine right now. This is what your screen will look like. Now, obviously, you're going to want to be able to add stuff in. So how you do that is actually you go right over here to sources. You go over here and click the little plus button. Obviously, this will be empty right here. And so will this over here. And this will not say Neon City. This will say scenes right here. You, this will be empty. You won't have a scroll wheel. You won't have anything like that. This will also be empty in here. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to add a new scene. You're going to want to add a new scene. And you're going to want to name that whatever you want the scene to be. I'm not going to create a new scene because it would switch my screen to black. So once you have your new scene open, then you should be able to add sources. Now what you're going to want to do to add sources is click the little plus button. And then this screen pops up. Now I know a lot of you guys know about OBS if you're watching this video. Which is a different streaming software. Uh, but Streamlabs OBS is actually a collaboration between Streamlabs and OBS. Now what Streamlabs is, is they're kind of like the... Uh, they're kind of like the go-to website for like stream notifications and custom widgets and all this stuff. For example, you got donation goals, you got alert box, which is the uh, blank just subscribe and it's got like sound and everything. Uh, you got your viewer count, you got, you know, event list if you want, donation ticker uh, for all the people who donate. You got a ton of different stuff, subscription goal, uh, stream labels, you got the spin wheel, you got so much stuff. There's a stream boss, I don't even know what that is. Uh, there's so much stuff that it's like the possibilities are endless and it's a lot easier because these are built into Streamlabs OBS rather than you having to go to Streamlabs and always having the page open it's just a lot easier. Now what you're going to want to do first if you just want your your desktop if you just want something to pop up on screen uh, you're, you're going to want to go to display capture. Now click on display capture it's primary monitor second monitor it just captures whatever is on your monitor screen. So if you click display capture, click add source. I already have one, but I'm gonna I'm gonna click add new source. Uh, it's gonna say desktop. I'm gonna name it desktop, and you click add source, and it pops up right there. Now obviously my face cam is gone because it put this over the rest of my uh, sources, so you can only see this now. But it'll say display one. If you have a second monitor, it'll say display two. You can choose display two if you want. Uh, then click done, and you should be there. Now I'm going to make that unvisible for a second so that you guys can actually see my face uh now if you want to know how to do that just click the eyeball icon right there and as you see you can turn it on and off and on and off it's it's yeah. that is very useful if you don't want everything showing at one time for example my header i have a header and i don't want that on 24 7 so i can just turn that off when i'm recording videos and it's so easy now, if you want a face cam, what you have to do is, if you're on a laptop, uh, it'll be easy because it's built in. But if you're, if you have a PC, you're going to need, a, you're going to need a plug-in webcam, uh, whether it be a capture card like an Elgato capture card uh, connected to a camera, for example, like this. I'm going to use this camera as a webcam in the future once I get an Elgato, um, or if you have a USB webcam like the one that I have now, Logitech. Um, what you're going to want to do first is to get that in there is click plus. Then once you're in here, uh, you're going to want to click on video capture device. That is any third party video device that is plugged into your PC. Um, and see it's here. It says built in webcams, Logitech webcam capture cards. So anything like that, you can add source. I already have webcam, but I'm going to add a new source. I'm going to name it, um, camera, click add source. Now it should pop up here with different selections. Um, so if you have multiple things plugged in, obviously then it'll be multiple things. I only have one. So choose that. It's not popping up because I already have a source in there and it's not gonna, if it tried to pull video into two sources, if I tried to duplicate my webcam, it wouldn't work. Uh, but for you, it should pop up. And if not, just click deactivate and reactivate and it should work. Now once you're done, you hit done and it should pop up right there. And normally your face cam will be on screen. It will be gigantic. You could just click on it and you could shrink it down using this. Uh, I'm not gonna change the size of my webcam because I don't really need to. 
but it will, you will be able to change that fairly easily. So now that you have this and you have your webcam, one thing is green screen. Now, if you do have a green screen and you want to use it, I'm going to show you how to do that really, really quick. Uh, if not, it will take like 30 seconds. So basically what you're going to want to do is, if you didn't see that, you go not to properties, you go to filters, and you can click add filter. Uh, now, there's so many different filters that you can choose from. What you're going to want to look for is chroma key. You're going to want to click on chroma key. You're going to want to name it. Uh, I name it green screen. Click done. Uh, and then what you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to adjust all of the stuff that it takes away. Like uh, similarity is probably the most important to get right. Uh, for example, if you put your similarity too high, look at what it does. It messes up. You can only see my mouth now. And it's really creepy. And you might creep yourself out. I know I have. Look, my forehead's gone now. Oh, no. Make sure that you mess around with this. Make sure you get it perfect. Because if it's not perfect, you could have some serious, serious problems that would not end up working at all. Now, if you do want to get rid of it, you could just click the minus button uh, and it gets rid of it immediately. Now, if you want to add it back, just click plus and go through the same steps as before. Uh, again, it really does depend. All these settings, you can't just copy mine. It depends on what green screen you have, what exact shade of green it is, uh, as well as the lighting that you have and your tone of skin and your, you know, whatever you're wearing even. Uh, matters too. So now if you want to add for example Minecraft into there What you want to do is you want to go to plus you want to go to game capture and You want to go to add source now you must have the game open you must open the game wh Whatever game it is it could be you know Minecraft it could be Rocket League It could be Fortnite whatever whatever you want to do whatever game you want to play um, Put it you know make sure that it's open and then minimize it and you want to rename it, whatever you want. I'm going to name it Minecraft, Minecrafts, Minecraft, I don't care. Add source. Uh, and then you want to change it from capture any full screen device to capture a specific window. Then you want to go to window and you want to select Minecraft. Now, Minecraft is usually Java W something, Java W.exe something. Um, that is the actual Minecraft itself. So now if you see that, um, if you see that, it's not popping up on the screen because it's already there. I already have a source and it's not going to duplicate it. So once you click done, it will pop up and look something like this. Uh, now, oh, it did add it. Actually, you can duplicate it, I guess. Okay, there. It should look something like this. And as you can see, like when I go in, you guys can see all this stuff. And when I minimize it, I just minimized it. It doesn't go back to this screen, whereas with your desktop, it would. See, if I, if I go uh, this desktop right now. Uh, I go in, I minimize it, and it closes out. But with the Minecraft thing, it could always be there, so you could switch around between Chrome, this, and it wouldn't change what the viewers are seeing on stream. All right, so now that you have all of your sources set up, uh, one thing that you could do is you could add a theme. Like, I have Neon City. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is go to Themes. The themes are 100% optional. You do not need a theme, but they are really cool and they can make your stream look so much more professional. For example, you could you could look through a bunch of these on the main screen. Uh, for example, this one uh, looks pretty cool. You got your donate top donator, last donation, recent subscriber account, all that. You don't even have to. You don't have to do graphic design. You don't have to do any of that stuff. You could just import it and it will appear right there on your screen. Now, if you don't find a theme that you like right here, uh, one thing that you could do. Is you could actually go over and sort by color for example if you want a red theme you could you could go over to red themes this one looks really cool and it's animated too so you have like new follower down there top donation new donation your name all of that stuff um right here and it even comes with like custom uh stream starting soon be right back screens if you want to do that um you could sort by game category First person shooter, action, massively multiplayer, online, role playing game, adventure simulation, all of this stuff. Um, so for example, if I wanted a massively multiplayer online game, then boom, these are some themes that would go well with that. You could have themes like this, it is really, really cool. Um, you could sort by pretty much everything. It's it's amazing. You could sort by, uh, you could sort by non-gaming as well. The possibilities are endless. Now, once you find a theme that you like, you could click install. Once you click install, it will automatically add itself into your, uh, into here, and it will have some stock images. You could just go and click the image file and delete it and then add your own source in behind it. 
uh, and you can move stuff around and all that stuff. Like that's where my header came from right here. Evan MC Gaming. See, it said it said your name here. I changed that to Evan MC Gaming. I changed this to recent donation, top donator, and then you're able to change all of this stuff too. Okay, so now that you have everything in Streamlabs OBS set up, now all you have to do is you have to make sure that everything on your channel is good. So what you have to do is you have to go over here. Uh, go to your channel. You want to go to, to Creator Studio, then go to Channel, uh, and make sure that you have live streaming enabled. Um, if you don't, click Enable. I'm not sure. I think you have you have to have a verified channel. I'm not sure what the exact requirements are, but again, make sure that it says Enabled here. If it does not say Enabled, then you will not be able to go live. So make sure it says Enabled, and once it says Enabled, all you got to do is go to Live Streaming. Now, once you're in live, you can choose a thumbnail, you know, make a thumbnail, put it there. Uh, change the description of everything. I go into that in more detail in my how to grow by live streaming video. The link is in the description. It'll say how to grow by live streaming, then the link. So just click that if you want to see how, once you're actually live, how you can grow your channel. Now, once you're in here, scroll to the very, very bottom. It'll say stream name slash key. You're going to want to click reveal. I'm not going to click reveal because then you guys will be able to stream to my channel. So again, make sure that you don't reveal your stream key to anyone else or they can live stream to your channel. So you're gonna click reveal, you're gonna copy it, and once you've copied it, go back to Streamlabs. You're gonna wanna go to settings, go to stream, and click stream key. You're gonna, there will be nothing there. You just control V, uh, paste it, then click show just to make sure. Uh, and then what you're gonna also wanna do is make sure that it says YouTube, YouTube gaming right here, and primary YouTube in just server, just so that it streams to YouTube and not trying to stream to another platform. Uh, so then click done and then all you gotta do is click go live and click confirm and go live and you should be able to go live. Now live streaming, just know that there are a bunch of other settings that affect live stream in output for example, such as bit rate, such as output resolution. You're gonna have to just mess around with those yourself because it really, does, it really is dependent on what game you're streaming or it really does depend on what you're streaming as well as your computer. Um, so you can look at my settings all you want, but your settings, I can almost guarantee you are not gonna be the exact same as mine. So I hope this video did help you out, help you learn how to go live on YouTube um, and potentially inspire you to start live streaming. Um, I really love live streaming. I've been doing it for almost two years and it's amazing. Uh, I love every second of it. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to click the like button and subscribe if you guys are new. Uh, turn on post notifications. I'm actually on a six week break because of coronavirus. Uh, my school got canceled. So I'm, I'm going to be having a lot more time to make more content for you guys. Uh, so make sure to stay tuned for that. And stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you guys in the next video.